Imagine standing on a rocky coastline, wind cutting across your face, when two very different birds steal your attention. One waddles upright like a tiny gentleman in a tuxedo, completely unfazed by the cold. The other flaps past you like a wind-up toy with wings, bright beak flashing like a splash of color against the gray sea. Penguins and puffins are often confused, but they're very different birds shaped by evolution in unique ways. So how are they different? Let's find out right here on History of Simple Things. Let's start with the most obvious difference, where they live. Penguins are birds of the Southern Hemisphere. Penguins live across the Southern Hemisphere from Antarctica to New Zealand, while puffins inhabit Northern Hemisphere cliffs in places like Iceland, Canada, and Alaska. Because they live on opposite sides of the planet, penguins and puffins have never met in the wild, yet both evolved to thrive in cold, fish-rich seas. Now let's talk about flight, or the lack of it. Puffins can fly, penguins cannot. That single fact defines almost everything about how these birds live. Puffins are true flying birds. They beat their wings incredibly fast, up to 400 flaps per minute, just to stay airborne. Watching a puffin take off is like watching a bird sprint into the sky, wings buzzing furiously. Penguins gave up flight millions of years ago, evolving dense bones and flippers that let them fly underwater at speeds of up to 15 miles per hour. Their bodies tell the same story. Penguins are built like swimmers, short necks, stiff flippers, compact bodies, and tightly packed feathers that trap air for insulation. Puffins, by contrast, look like classic seabirds, rounded heads, short wings, and a chunky body that balances flying and swimming. Puffins can dive over 60 meters, but emperor penguins reach over 500 meters and hold their breath for 20 plus minutes, a feat of extreme biology. Then there's the matter of appearance. Penguins' black and white counter shading helps them blend into the ocean, while puffins look like colorful artistic creations their oversized, brightly colored beaks, orange, red, yellow, and blue, are one of the most striking features in the bird world. Interestingly, puffins only wear these flashy beaks during breeding season. Afterward, parts of the beak fall off, revealing a smaller, duller version beneath. Penguins and puffins have very different parenting styles. Many penguin species form long-term pair bonds, and emperor penguin males famously endure the Antarctic winter, balancing a single egg on their feet and fasting for weeks while females travel far to feed. Puffins, meanwhile, nest in burrows on grassy cliffs, laying one egg with both parents taking turns bringing back beaks full of small fish to feed their chick. Diet is another fascinating comparison. Both birds are carnivorous, feeding mostly on fish, squid, and crustaceans. Puffins are famous for their ability to carry multiple fish crosswise in their beaks at once. Specialized grooves and a rough tongue allow them to grip slippery prey without losing earlier catches. Penguins don't need that trick. They swallow their prey whole while swimming. Their mouths are lined with backward-facing spines that prevent fish from escaping once caught. Its social behavior also sets them apart. Penguins are famous for massive colonies that can number in the hundreds of thousands. These colonies are loud, chaotic, and surprisingly organized. Each penguin has a unique call, allowing parents and chicks to find each other in the crowd. Puffins are social but reserved gathering to breed yet spending most of their lives alone at sea, with winter habits long a mystery. Then there's intelligence and personality, harder to measure, but impossible to ignore. Penguins seem bold, 
approaching humans due to few predators, while puffins are cautious and quick to flee when threatened. Both birds are intelligent in their own ways, with strong spatial memory and problem-solving skills tied to navigation and hunting. Culturally, penguins and puffins occupy very different spaces in the human imagination. Penguins have become global icons. From animated movies to corporate mascots, they're often portrayed as clumsy, lovable, and comical. Puffins, while beloved, are more regionally iconic dot in Iceland and the UK. Puffins are cultural symbols, though both puffins and penguins were historically hunted for food and resources. Today, both birds face serious threats. Climate change is altering ocean temperatures and fish populations, directly affecting their food supply. Melting ice threatens penguin breeding grounds, while warming seas and overfishing endanger puffin colonies. Some puffin populations have sharply declined as parents struggle to find fish, while penguin numbers also signal overall ocean health. So who wins in a penguins versus puffins matchup? The truth is, it's not a competition. Penguins and puffins are examples of how evolution can produce entirely different solutions to the same challenge, surviving in cold, unforgiving oceans. One traded the sky for the sea, becoming a master diver. The other kept the ability to fly while still plunging into the depths for food. Both are marvels of adaptation shaped by millions of years of natural selection. In the end, penguins remind us of endurance, of standing together against the cold, of commitment and resilience. Puffins remind us of balance, of agility between air and water, of color and character in harsh landscapes. Different hemispheres, different strategies, same ocean story showing how life thrives in countless ways, even at the planet's edge. Together, they're proof that survival isn't just about strength. It's about adapting beautifully to whatever the world throws at you. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our other bingeable channels. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the history of simple things. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more stories woven through the smallest details.